In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of all saints, pray for us. I'm Father Salzo, and we're continuing with the New Era and the Divine Will, volume 12, February 8th, 1921, and this is the second paragraph. And then Jesus added, ah, my daughter, Louisa, the creatures rage more and more in evil. So Jesus knows uh, that this era that we're in right now is, is filled with the demonic. Uh, they're raging. The war is, is, is happening. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a war that uh, our Lord is, is telling us about, and, and, and he's asking us, he's pleading with us that we begin to understand that this new era is very, very close. This new era is, is here. How do we know it's here? The new era of love, this new era of, of the power of God's love, uh, it's because we have the book of heaven. This book of heaven, Jesus said to Louisa, um, this book of heaven, uh, when this is released, when, when it's given to the world, the world will change. As people begin to read, little by little, they begin to live this abundant life and everything changes for them. Everything. Uh, we enter into a deeper relationship with our God. Uh, a relationship that the saints did not know about. Now that might sound, you know, difficult to believe, but what what Jesus gave to Louisa, she's and he tells Louisa this, is how to live in the divine will. And Louisa said to Jesus, "There were such great saints. Did you teach them? Why didn't Our Lady do this? She lived in it. Why? Why me?" She says, "I'm nobody. I'm nothing." We see the great humility of Louisa. Jesus said to Louisa, Adam was human. Adam wasn't the son of God, wasn't the mother of God. But when Adam fell, he lost the share in divinity. He lost the image and likeness of God. So what Jesus and Mary did, as, as Jesus came to redeem and Mary co-redeem with Christ, Jesus says that, uh, they began the Catholic life over again. The universal life again began. The life that Adam lost now begins. And now 2,000 years later, Jesus says, as the church has begun to learn how to live in, uh, and do God's will, now Jesus is going to show us how to live in the divine will that he gave to Louisa. So this new era is coming. So he says very, very clearly, my daughter, the creatures rage more and more in evil. How many machinations of ruin they are preparing. These people will reach the point of exhausting evil itself. We haven't seen anything yet. The war is happening. And, and as you know, to win a war, you have to fight the most powerful way you can to win. And God is going to win. The, the evil is going to not make it. Evil can't make it because it can't win against this loving and great king, our Lord, our Savior, our Master. He says they will reach the point of exhausting evil. If you, if you see what's happening today, it hasn't exhausted evil yet. Think about that. Evil has to be completely out of breath. Evil has to be on the ground exhausted. He says, but while they are occupying with following their own way, I, God, listen to what Jesus is saying. I, God, he says, um, will be occupied with making the fiat voluntas tua, have its completion, have its fulfillment. So this, this 
prayer of the Our Father, may your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven, he says, is going to be complete. It's going to be fulfilled. And what that my divine will will reign upon earth in a completely new way. Okay, what does this mean? There are 7 billion people living on earth. 1 billion is Catholic. And out of the 1 billion, how many are really living Catholic, holy lives? Jesus says, I want all mankind to possess this. That's why he says in volume 24, there will be one church, one flock, one shepherd. Everyone will become Catholic. Why? To begin to live in God's image and likeness, the first step is to be baptized Catholic. When you're baptized, you are in God's image. Then, Jesus says, I give all the medicines that are needed to help heal mankind. What are the medicines? It's the sacraments and the sacramentals. And what our Lord is asking of us is, are you ready to begin to live this abundant life? And we say, yes. He says, okay, I have the sacraments and sacramentals to help you. Help you live a good and holy and saintly life. So for the last 2,000 years, this is what people have been doing. Entering into the church to live a Catholic, universal life. Now, Jesus says, the fiat voluntas to your kingdom come on earth exactly the way it's in heaven will be completed, will be fulfilled. And the, my divine will will reign on earth in a completely new and powerful way. There's not going to be many churches, many religions, many denominations. It's going to be the one holy Catholic apostolic church that Jesus set up is coming. The kingdom of God is going to come on earth that is in heaven. And he says, and the war in this war, the weapon that I'm going to use is the weapon of love, conquering love of God. It's not a war of blood, but a war of love. That's why he says, I am occupied in preparing the era of the third fiat in which my divine love will show off in a marvelous, in an unheard of way. We, we haven't seen anything yet. He's promising. See, the book of heaven is, is filled with truths. It's filled with teachings. It's filled with manifestations. It's filled with promises. That's why I love the book of heaven. Every day, Jesus speaks to us and he teaches us more and more. Yes, we're at war, but he's going to win. And he shows us how he's going to win. He says, I will be occupied. I, God, will be occupied with repairing the era of the third fiat in which my divine love, listen to this, will show itself off in a marvelous, in an unheard of way. See, there will be a day, this is what Jesus says in volume 24. He says there will be a day that all of a sudden the kingdom of God will be on earth as it is in heaven. And everyone will say, how did this happen? How could the kingdom of God now be here on earth as it is in heaven? And Jesus said, it's because of Louisa and the souls linked to Louisa. They began to live this abundant life. They began to live this new and powerful way of, of living the life, the light, the love of God on earth as the saints live in heaven. So he says this, therefore, be attentive. We have a book on be attentive and read it. It's fantastic. Be attentive. Watch what God is doing.
Be attentive. Learn more of what God is doing. Be attentive. In my understanding of attentive is this. Read. Read every day. Study this every day. Be attentive to listening to Jesus. Maybe not with your ears, but with your heart, your mind, your soul. Listen to Jesus teach you. He wants to instruct you. He wants you to get ready for this new era. So what has he done? He's had Louisa stay in bed all her life. Why? To write down what he told her for us to read, for us to study, for us to put into practice. That's what God is doing. And he's asking us, do you want to, do you want to hear me? Be attentive. Read every day. What I like to read is the calendar. I've read all 36 volumes, and, and now I, I want to read the, the calendar. Every day, Jesus says, this is why this day is so important. Look up your birthday. Look up your wedding day. Look up your baptismal day. What does Jesus tell you on that day? It's astonishing. It's amazing. He has this plan from the beginning of time. So he says, therefore, I, God, want you to be attentive. I, God, want you, Louisa, and the little children of the Holy Divine Will, linked to Louisa with me, your Lord, your God, your, your Savior, your King, your everything. I want you with me. Why? To prepare this celestial and divine era of love that's coming upon the earth. I want you with me. I want you with me in my army. It's, the, we're in the battle. You, you see this with your family. You see this with your friends. You see this with your neighbors. Jesus is saying, would you be on my side to win them over to me? This doesn't mean that you talk to them about the divine will. It means you live in the divine will, in the midst of your friend, family, in the midst of your neighbors, in the midst of, of, of your community. What, is, what does it mean to live in the divine will? It's to be peaceful, full of peace, joy, full, full of joy and happiness. What is it? It's celestial happiness. It's celestial peace. It's celestial joy. You begin to live in this divine era of love. Nothing less than that. This is what God is saying. I want you with me in this celestial and divine era of love that has begun because of what God gave to Louisa. And then he says, we will lend a hand to each other. And with, listen to this, and we'll work together. We were going to, we're holding on to hands with God and working together. And then he said, he drew near Louisa's mouth and he breathed into her the omnipotent breath of God, the Ruah of God. And what happens? Louisa felt a new life being infused in her. It's the same thing for us. Every breath, breathe in. Say, Jesus, I want to breathe in your omnipotent breath. I want to feel this new life of the celestial and divine love of God in me. I want this more than anything. And Jesus goes, good. Good. He says, he says be attentive. Read. Study. Put this into practice. And watch your whole life change. Watch your family's life change. Watch the world change. God is, God is with us. And God is getting everything ready. So he's asking us, he's pleading with us to uh, be attentive. So may the blood that flowed upon the wood of this cross free us from our human will, that we live in God's holy divine will always. We ask that this prayer becomes God's command in the name of the Father and of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.